Hello, Nada here. Welcome back to RimWorld. Last time we had a couple of interesting battles. Poor Jen was nearly uh, kidnapped. We instead counter kidnapped Mr. Clark. Yes, he's a mister. So we kidnapped Clark. So he's going to uh, hopefully, hopefully join us soon as a as an additional member of the colony, as our sixth member, and winter is coming. It's uh, it's getting colder outside. It's it's during the day. It's 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 five or six degrees, but I think uh, there have been uh, a few moments with negative degrees already. So I've instated a policy where everybody is restricted to the inside except for strapping, because pe every all the people seem to. Uh, have issues with temperatures below 6 or sometimes even 4 degrees. And strapping is, is comfortable up till negative 4. So he's the one that, that's going to dig out all the iron which we're going to use to build this heater and actually keep this place at a comfy 20 degrees or 21 or whatever we end up on. So for the very very short term that's the plan to work uh, that out. We currently have enough food. There's a, there's a bunch of food in the fridge which is not kept nicely chilly. Some of the food is even kept outside of the fridge because the fridge is overflowing. So that, that's the best state of the fridge. Just filled to the brim and overflowing. And we researched cremation. Oh, that's nice, because then we can stop using graves. Okay, what's what's next? Hydroponics is one way to grow things indoors. And in, in hydroponics basins, things grow insanely quick. So we could actually uh, start on that. On the other hand, we can also have a look at IEDs. Oh. Pneumatic picks. That that's that's a, a first. Because we have this plastic problem in the middle of our base that I rather wanna get rid of. Power is still accumulating in a positive way. That's good. We have a tethering bench set up. We have a sculptor. Let's see, that's uh, only allow wood and stone, so it stay off of the more precious materials. Uh, I mean, anybody who I've designated as an artist can actually do artisty stuffs, and we'll just do it until we have one statue. So we're just going to. Uh, I, I, I said one. Default is dead. Let's fix that. So if someone is going to work as an artist, that's uh, Vladimir, our politician. So when he's not mining, or repairing, or building, or hunting, or wardening, or doctoring, he'll be working on art. That's uh, fair, I suppose. Designated, yeah, that's all designated. This is all designated, that's all designated. So that's okay. So the most of the digging is already designated. That, that's good. Strapping is doing a pretty decent job there. We have a little bit of steel. Mm. Oh no, eagle ship. A large piece of an ancient ship has crashed nearby. Your colonists can feel it in the back of their mind, exhorting unspeakable acts. It must have an onboard AI persona with psychic projection ability. This AI is not friendly. Destroy it as soon as possible. So it 
it's down there in the middle of the swamp. Or the marsh, that's almost like a swamp. So this is going to be fun. Winter is coming and we have an evil ship to combat. I think I'm going to allow everybody outside again. Because we kind of need to handle this. And then everybody's going to sleep, okay. Then in the morning, when they have a, had a nice night of rest, we attack. And probably die horribly trying. Okay, everybody has at least a gun, that's good. So, there's a bunch of snow around here. Cool. This is, seems to just exude cold. Someone has a poor mood. Jen, why do you have a poor mood? You're feeling terrible for no apparent reason. Okay. Psychic drone doesn't help either. She slept in the cold. Yeah, because her cold tolerance isn't uh, that awesome. Okay. Uh, Mr. Vladimir, you're done relaxing socially. Go build a heater, please. No time for food. That heater, please. Yes, so we'll set this to a nice even 20 degrees. This is probably not going to be enough to warm everything, but it's a good start. Just outside of the home region. time we hit it, or after we hit it a couple times, uh, mechanoids will come out. So we need to have a, a set of defenses around here that we can use. Oh cool, silver ore. Two by 
two, so pe two people can stand there and then shoot around the corner. Same thing here, and then here we have a three white bit, so we actually have someone who can uh, take a bit of shelter in the center here. And then if we do this here and do that there, and we have a bit that we can just weave through if necessary. to work with. Let's see, we can just uh, designate a stockpile here, like so, and this is the closest, so sh things should be brought here. Okay, let's, uh, let's see. She uh, had food recently, she actually seems pretty happy, that's, that's positive. Jen doing? She had an infection, right? Infection major. 80%, 87% immunity. Next treatment in two hours. Okay, that's about 10 o'clock. What's the priority level of this? This is low. Okay. Maybe this storage area here should also be. Oh yeah, we recruited Clark. That's very, very nice. So actually have a look at what, what can Clark do. He's enhanced in moving. He's slightly weakened in manipulation. But not a lot. He's still a pretty good shot. 96%. If he gets a, a new hand or a new arm. And he's going to be as good as new. Very, very happy about shooting. Okay, so definitely the soldier outfits. Uh, is that a pulse charge rifle? These things are inaccurate and show slow, shorter range. So let's uh, grab the bow first. Hey! He actually has the first parka! Wow! Cool. So he's definitely going to be uh, able to go outside. That, that's very good. I approve of that. Okay, so you are our primary hunter. Oh, you can do research, that, that's also fine. Hauling is very good since you're fast. Constructing, repairing, I'm uh, pretty keen on that as well. Mining, yeah. if you can't do it, don't do it. We'll see if he eventually gets idle, then we can always add more work that he's not very well suited for. Okay, and now we can say make this non medical, then he'll just go there. Now we got a a uh, prisoner prison thing set up, and we got people uh, in just joint rooms. Okay, it seems like most people are actually going here. Colonists need treatment. Yeah, we don't have beds, do we? Nope. Okay, so, Jen, your bed is now a medical bed. That means you can uh, receive treatment. I think Farmer and Vlad were our doctors. Yep. Uh, yeah, of course. They're the ones that are down here, right? Yeah, of course. Gen. 
resourced by farmer. Okay. Never schedule in, I do. Oh well. Welcome to the military. Hunter needs weapon. Oh yeah, of course. That's kind of useful, right? If she fell ill and dropped her weapon, of course. The, the, the range. Pistol range is just outside of here, so if they come close, we could potentially do something with it. Smay with a bow, we can actually hit something. Then the rifles should have no issue. Mark, you can go stand there. Got Jen. Also have a pistol, don't you? Yeah. So you can also go there. So the pistol brigade is north. We only have a single decent rifle. So. Hey, it's me. Why are you not in the army? Strapping is not in the army. What? Oh wow, they actually quit the army now when they are tired. with a charge launch that's problematic 10% chance to hit 10% chance to hit 10% chance to hit that's not good heavy charge blaster can't hit okay so this one is the Biggest range, so the biggest problem. 37. 27. Problem with, with charge blasters and such. I think this is an area weapon. So we have you, we have you, and we have you. That's, uh, that was not quite right. You. Out of range, okay. So the, just shoot at the centipede instead. You shoot. Scyther Can't reach You can shoot at the centipede Sure I can't read that either 
you shoot this buddy in the back? Awesome! Oh, please do, please do. I like this. Um, damn. So this is a relatively short range. So I'm, I'm thinking, just, just actually drawing with my finger on the screen. If I compare this range the, that Vladimir could shoot and try to map it onto here, it actually will work. Problem is, of course, that oh no, I've got this in between, so I can I can just send him around. Same for Jen, and then have him shoot from this side. Well, let's just start with Vladimir. Half dead. That that's very very positive. Unfortunately, Clark is not doing too well either. So this might have been just a compromised position, or he's just been unlucky. We'll, uh, we'll see. Okay, Flot is drawing attention. Oh no 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 no. Okay, Flot is safe. You can shoot now. Can flood actually get hit? 12%. That's worse than at the, at the wall. On the other hand, oh, 9% chance to actually hit this guy. Okay, you. Take a step aside. Yes. Step aside. If he just keeps him occupied, that that's already enough. Actually, no, that's not. Because it's better if you actually shoot him in the back. Oh wow! He actually got shot through the wall. That's really, really bad. Okay, so. Jen is out of the running. Uh, you go rescue Clark. How good is Vladimir at shooting? He's very good at shooting, so let's give him the bow. Or no, rather, you. Why did you drop the person? No. Okay. Once you're rescuing someone, you can't stop that. That's slightly annoying. Okay. Too bad then. That one is already down. Not quite sure how, but I approve. Question is, can I sneak? I'm just gonna try. This is pretty, pretty, really slow. is lucky, he's been standing there for the entire time and he still has not been hit. Um. Oh, 
Yeah, we got him. Then we have to shoot this thing still. So I'm just gonna put him at a safe distance. Fire at crushed ship. Fire at a crushed ship. Well, actually, just get a bit closer. anymore. Someone got shot. Dead people don't need bits. Sad as that might be. Okay, then we have Clark who has been patched up. Then we need Vladimir who still needs to be patched up by Farmer. So Vlad, you now have a medical bed. That means that you can't actually go to bed. That's good. Yeah. Rest until healed. And then uh, you go treat him. And then I bet one of the beds is meant for Clark. Yeah. And that's a uh, medical unassigned, then someone else can claim it. Farmer is totally exhausted, that makes sense. Floods in a poor mood, but I would be as well when I would have gotten shot. Okay. So a lot happened. At least this one, uh, this has been dealt with. These, these ships, they, they sometimes just wipe out entire colonies if you don't approach them in a proper way. So just losing one person, it's it's too bad, but uh, yeah, it could have been worse to just uh, look at it from the from the bright side. But this episode's been going on for about half an hour, so I think I'm going to put a, a break in here. So next episode. We'll see if we can at least gather all the the things from here. The, the extra uh, steel is going to help a lot. Just getting the the, the mechanoid corpses in is going to be useful for future metal acquisition. You have to think of to getting the gear in and some of the stones. And then it's back to making sure that things are properly heated. Just having to install some vents in the rooms that don't have vents yet, and just preparing further for winter. But that is going to be in the next episode. So, I thank you for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please rate this thumbs up. If you want to 
stay up to date of what I do of new episodes in the series and of the other se other games that I play just subscribe to the channel and it will be on your YouTube front page and with that I thank you and I will see you next time bye bye